Hello everyone, this is Mr. Botros Asad, and today we will talk about multiples of 2, 5, and 10. The word multiple refers to the product of numbers. 2 multiplied by 5 equals 10. 10 is called product. Okay, so 10 is a product. This product, I call it a multiple of a number. So 10 is a multiple of five, and in the same time is a multiple of two. So 10 is a multiple of five and two. And this rule is applied for any product. For example, three multiplied by six, equals 18. 18 is our product. I call it a multiple. So 18 is a multiple of 3 and 6. Let's look at 2 times table. What do you see here? I see 1 multiplied by 2 equals 2. 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4, 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6, and so on. All these numbers is called multiples of 2. Why? Because it comes from multiplying a number by 2. So all these numbers is a multiple of 2. What do you see here? What do you notice? I can see that all these numbers are even. So all multiples of two are even numbers. And each time I move from a multiple to the next multiple, I make two more. Four plus two equals six. Six plus two equals eight. But the main notice here is that all multiples of 2 are even numbers. Let's apply circle multiple of 2. So 23 here is odd number. And an, a multiple of 2 cannot be odd. It should be even. What about this? 46. It is a multiple of 2. Because 46 is an even number. So this is a multiple of 2. 76, again, it is even. So this is a multiple of 2 because it is even. And all multiples of 2 are even numbers. What about this? This is odd number. A multiple of 2 should be even, not odd. I have here five times table. What I can see here? I can see the multiples of five. All these numbers are multiples of five. It comes from multiplying a number by five. So all these numbers are multiples of five. But what I can see here, can I say all the multiples of five are even? No, because this, this multiple is odd. This multiple is odd. Can I say all the multiples of five are odd? No, because this multiple is even and this multiple of even is even. So I have to look for another thing. I can see that all the multiples of five end with five or zero. If you look, there is a system here or a pattern. 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0, and so on. So I can say that all multiples of 5 in with 0 or 5. So any number, any number that end with 0 or 5, I can call it a multiple of 5. Let's apply circle multiple of five. What about this? 34. 
it end with four, not zero and not five. So this is not a multiple of five. This end with five. So this is a multiple of five. It end with five. 78, it end with eight. Cannot be a multiple of five. 120, it end with zero. So this is a multiple of five. I have here 10 times table. What I can see? I can see that I counting by 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. So all these numbers are multiples of 10 because it is the product of multiplying a number by 10. But I can see, I can see another thing here. All these numbers end with zero and only zero. Zero, zero, all these numbers end with zero. So I can say that all multiples of 10 in with zero. And I can say another thing, all multiples of 10 are even or odd, of course, even, because any number end with zero should be even. So all multiples of 10 are even. Let's apply. Circle multiples of 10, and remember that all multiples of 10 end with zero. So 60 end with zero, so it is a multiple of 10. 78, it end with eight, no. 135. It end with five. It is a multiple of five, but is not a multiple of 10. 260, it end with zero. So this is a multiple of 10. And this was our lesson for today. Thank you.